I, I never heard of that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know anything about that. It sounds far out. Yeah, it sounds far out. Yeah, and I can see any evidence to that effect. I'm a, uh, my, my, my favorite story about the government medicine was a swine flu caper. If you remember, if anybody remembers that. Uh, I mean, that was, was documented. And uh, during the Ford administration, I believe, uh, Ford was desperately anxious to get reelected. It didn't look as if he was going to. And they discovered the great swine flu menace um, and insisted everybody get injected with this the virus. There's no authentic cases of swine flu has, had, had been had recorded. And they're, they're desperately actually trying to find swine, somebody with swine flu so they can justify the program. They finally find some, found some guy, I think in northern Michigan or Minnesota or something. It turned out, you know, however, he was a pig farmer. He actually got it from swine. That didn't count. So uh, they never really found anybody. In the meantime, they kept injecting people with this stuff, and then people were getting uh, paralyzed from it and dying from it at a fairly hefty rate. And my favorite story, being a New Yorker at the time, being steeped in New York politics uh, and social life, the, um, the head of the, uh, the, maf the top mafia family in New York, uh, the sainted Carlo Gambino, I believe, was pretty old then, and his, his assistant, his top assistant, assisted him. Godfather, you must go get the swine flu virus injection. And uh, he finally did. He tottered off and got it and died the next day. And, and his, his helpful assistant was Carmine Galante, was a secret member of the other competing family, and then took over as head of the mafia. Uh, that was one great story. And the other, not really a story, but <laughs> was that uh, I was telling this, I was talking to my, my class in American economic history about the situation current situation at the time. And at that point, Nelson Rockefeller was the vice president. And, and uh, that morning, I think President Ford, to show the greatness and the safety of the, of the, of the virus, the shot, got himself injected. So the, the, one of my students popped up and said, well, if Ford dies tomorrow morning and Rockefeller becomes president, that would vindicate a conspiracy analysis. <laughs> it didn't happen anyway.